good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. So guys, a few days ago, I came across this particular TikToker. The brother is by the name of Jay Stanza. Actually, I have been seeing some of his videos over the last year, but this one caught my attention. And he's talking about white women will end up with Pookies and Ray Rays in 2024. Sounds quite far-fetched, doesn't it? <clears throat> it even sounds comedic. But I've been saying something like this in some form or fashion for a long time. What I'd like to do is I'd like to play that clip now. So then afterwards, we'll come back. In 2024, older women are only going to date younger men, straight up. Remember I said it first, I called it. It's going to be out in the open, ain't going to be no hiding this shit. In 2024, you're gonna see older white women with young hood I promise you. I'm not talking about no ratchet white women. I'm talking about women who live in good neighborhoods, nice neighborhoods, women who just divorced their husband, no cap. When the kids go off to see their dad, she gonna be chilling with a young hood I promise you. She gonna be chilling with a dude who only rocks ski masks with puffy jackets who smoke hella gas, I promise you. They gonna be dating dudes who drive SRTs, scat packs, Corvettes, all that hood shit. I promise you, no care. Now, he starts off by saying older women are going to date younger men. It's going to be out in the open. Ain't gonna be no hiding. All right. Now let me let me deal with that because that is very important. I think it's very interesting. He did mention women who are divorced. He did mention women who are lonely. And of course, you know, when you look at Tia Maori, somebody like that who in my honest opinion is still fairly attractive, looking good, but you know, can't find another guy like Corey Hardrick. Who do you think she will end up dating after that? Well, let's, let's, let's go back and figure this out, can we? Shall we? Let's figure it out. First of all, I always tell you guys, whenever you deal with women and a woman is, a man is very rich, all right? Uh, uh, the guy is doing very well. <clears throat> She leaves the guy. I believe that most ladies feel like there's a lot of guys out there just waiting on you. That's why when you ever hear women talk, when I was coming up in the black community, you know, I'm going to get married when I'm 35. After I achieve all my things and, you know, that's when I'm going to get married. Okay. You're definitely going to get married. Just probably not to the person that you think you should get married to. Again, we can all want things in life. I wanted to play point guard for the Sacramento Kings. Guess what? I was terrible. Well, I was all right, but not good at the play for the Kings. Right? Too short. I wasn't committed enough. And it wasn't going to happen. Point blank, period. All right? These ladies, once they get a guy that's a top-notch guy, it's hard to follow that up. In your 30s or 40s. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying it's difficult difficult to do so. Look at Mackenzie Scott. Mackenzie Scott was married to Jeff Bezos. Okay? She got all that money. She was married to Jeff Bezos for 26 years. She's like, ah, tired of that. Let me go deal with Dan Jewett, a science teacher. Want to know what happened? to that guys it, it didn't work out that's what happened it didn't work okay you can't go from a jeff bezos to a to a to a, a dan duet guys got mad at me for saying that but it's just you can't do that once you have a guy that's like a jeff bezos do, do you ever feel like you're gonna get a guy like that again and then when you can't you're used to having a guy who might not be perfect, but he knows what he's doing. He can make things happen. He's resourceful. He's a leader. Hey, man, it's not that many men who are leaders out there. Okay? I'm sorry. Most guys can probably, you know, tell you that. Most people are average. When you get with a guy or a person that is above average, yeah, it doesn't really make sense to believe that that person is somehow going to be 
greater than what you freaking expected. It's probably not going to happen for you like that. I, I, I'm not trying to be negative at all. I'm really not. I'm really not trying to be negative. But the facts are the facts. And we got to talk about it as such. The facts are the facts. Guys, they are what they are. You can get mad. You can get angry. And a lot of these, these ladies, when they, you know, they don't, they're not in a position to get back to the guys they want. They end up with these guys. That's why you see older ladies and you see them with like broke guys. There's one YouTuber right now. Comes from a very wealthy family. Ladies, ladies beautiful. She's older though. Little, uh, I would say she's a little odd, right? I would say that. But um, one know she's dating the weed guy. Wanna know why? Because the reputation about her has gotten out. All the guys that have something, they don't want to waste their time. That I know. It has nothing to do with the fact that she's even 40. It has nothing to do with the fact that, she, you know, she, she's, she, she's whatever you, you might want to give an excuse for. Oh, well, she's black. Y'all don't like black women. No, that's not what it is. As the reputation is, she's a chick that you can't get along with. She's a troublemaker. All right. She's honorary. So what guys say is, all right, cool. Same thing with Dre and Michelle. What are Dre and Michelle doing? The same thing he's talking about. She has a younger guy. Why? Because the word is out on the street about her. She is not to be taken seriously. If you do, you will suffer these calamities. All right? So instead of going from number one to being one of many, and a lot of ladies understand that. When you used to be the number one chick, and you're dealing with rich guys with options, it's sad to see a chick go from number one to one of many and that's that's what happened when you want to stay in that ballpark of guys who have what they have you're going to be one of many right if you you know because it's like getting fired from a job that you're really good at and you have to go out there and apply for another job that has a lot of competition in that field <clears throat> you're just like any other application to some people sorry it doesn't make it right but it's the truth so now you become one of many all right then, so you don't become one of many, and I'm talking about for anybody that's dealing with somebody that's the high end top of the thing, it, even as me as a YouTuber, if I wanted to go and put my show on Revolt, I wanted to put my show on Fox News, or I'll be one of many guys want to do that as a YouTuber, right? So like, nope, I don't want to do that. Let me go and deal with who I can have some level of optionality with. My passport bros do that too. So you said, well, I can fit in with these young guys who are sexually attractive and they have less than me, so they would have to deal with me. That's the exact same thing that they, these ladies are doing. That's what he's saying. So guys, what do you think? Oh, shit, dude, Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Push your fire, you do, scrub the bell. We're out.